Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your general love reading for April 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and it is a general reading, so not going to be everybody's situation. That is okay. If you would like a personal reading, you can find that information in the description box below this video. And the roles can be reversed because the reading is a general reading. All right, let's see, Sagittarius, what is going on with you in April 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For the situation, we have the King of Swords crossed by the Five of Pentacles. Mm. So somebody is really determined here um, possibly in making a certain decision, but what seems to be the challenge is having to um, also endure some kind of a loss um, by making that decision or just, that's just what they're thinking about, what it is that they're going to lose. And it could be possibly that they have a fear of losing something. Could be you, could be them. Let's see. For your energy, we have the Emperor, the Queen of Wands, and the Star. Okay, wow, you have some big energies here. It feels like overall, you're feeling pretty good. You feel like, you know, you have control over yourself, over your world, over your life, over what's going on. Um, you're standing really, really strong in your in your power, and not only that, you're also very optimistic, um, feeling just very hopeful for whatever you know, um, whatever it is that you're moving towards, or whatever is coming in for you. I feel like you have done a lot of work on yourself in order to get to this point, so there's a lot of healing here that is happening for you as well. Let's see for them. This Eight of Swords, it just keeps popping up in like every reading. Um, it showed up both for Aries and for Leo, so maybe some of you are dealing with another fire sign. Um, let's see what else. The Four of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so it could be that I see this main energy here where I was talking about the, the decision. Because it does feel like somebody really knows what they want here. I feel like it's the other person, right? The one that is also um, challenged by a sense of loss in the process because they're the ones having this Eight of Swords where it could be that they are overthinking, right? And the King of Swords does also think a lot. So some of you might also be dealing with with a, with an air sign. Um, let's see, we also have Aquarius showing up and we also have Aries showing up as well in this reading. So yeah, this person is um, feeling a little bit um, overwhelmed by their own thoughts, possibly by scenarios that they are coming up with in their own mind, um, revolving around a sense of loss or even revolving around a sense of victim mentality, which is holding them back. And it does come in as them being a little bit stubborn about that. However, I do see things I do feel like things are, are changing here for them, possibly. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the Nine of Swords. <clears throat> well, we'll have to see because it, sometimes in certain cases, you know, we, we have to really get to a place where we feel the pain before we can actually make that shift. And I feel like that's actually what's happening with this person. Um, I feel like, you know, they're, they're moving towards the stress actually coming to a peak. So let's see. Because I also get the feeling that the person here that you're dealing with, um, unless the roles are reversed, um, but this person, it's almost like they, they're kind of like feeling like um, things are just fate or just kind of leaving things to just happen as they happen. And that's because they're feeling so debilitated by their own anxiety. 
so let's see. Let's um, clarify the King of Swords with the Five of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, <laughs> yeah, and the Three of Cups. Yeah, so this is definitely your the other person here um, with this Eight of Swords showing up again. Yeah, I feel like this person is, you know, they... They're wanting to work around this. They're, they're, it's like they're putting in effort. They're doing things in order to be able to have this, um, either a reconciliation with you or just to come together with you. But again, it's like there's something here that they're either overthinking, overanalyzing, and so all this effort that they're putting in it almost feels like it's going to waste because they, it never gets them to that end result of the Three of Cups with you. And again, this is all coming from some kind of a, a fear of loss, a fear of abandonment, or maybe even rejection for some of you. Um, so, I mean, and this could be anything. This could be a fear of losing something else in order to be able to um, have this connection with you. Or for others, it's going to be possibly a fear of what if in the long run they end up being rejected by you? And so, and that could be working subconsciously and that's kind of keeping them um, from going all the way and they're just kind of beating around the bush here with that seven of pentacles. So that's the issue. Um, but let's see. Let's see that emperor in your energy. the King of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. You're feeling very grounded. Um, I feel like you're feeling very grounded. You're feeling very secure, very stable within your own self at the moment. Although um, it does feel like you have the door open for this, for this person. Um, because for some of you, you might feel like it's a soulmate connection. And I am also getting that for others of you, this could even be somebody else here. So for some of you, this isn't going to apply to all of you, but for some of you, you might have somebody else and you're just, you know, kind of giving this other person an opportunity here. Doesn't have to be, um, that's just for some of you, but overall you're, you're feeling like, you know what? I am my own freaking King of Pentacles. Like even if there is someone else coming into your life, like you're still feeling really good about your own self and you know to you it could go either way like whether you're with somebody like or not like you're still feeling good about about your own self although you know you do have you do still have this nostalgia though for a connection and for a committed connection with somebody who is going to meet you at your level in terms of stability and commitment and when I say stability, I mean in, in all areas, right? Being emotionally stable, um, not having these fears. Let's see the Queen of Wands. All right, the Seven of Wands and the Nine of Cups. You've set boundaries, basically. You've set boundaries. You know exactly what you want, and it's like you're not accepting anything less here. Not only that, it's like you know that you are desirable and you know that, you know, you can have a connection if you want to. So I feel like overall, like you're feeling like, you know, most of your, your needs are satisfied, basically. You're, I mean, yeah, it does feel like, you know, there is, you do have some kind of a tie with this other person here. And that could be, you know, what you would really want um, for some of you, maybe not all of you. Because, I mean, why is this person showing up then, right, in your reading? But you're okay. You're okay um, on your own. You're just open to whatever wants to come your way. And you're feeling good about it. And that's why then you have the start. Because you're feeling hopeful that, you know, whatever is meant for you will find you. Um, clarifying the star, we have the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. You're just so focused on yourself. You're so focused on yourself and just, you know, making sure that you are taken care of and that you are happy. So, yeah. <laughs> wow. Good job, Sagittarius. So, let's see what's going on with this other person then. For the Eight of Swords. 
the Ace of Swords, and the King of Cups. Yeah, they're, they know, they know it, a truth. There's a truth here that they are very much aware of, but um, it's like that truth is swirling around in their minds and they're just playing with it this way and that way and it's affecting their emotions and that's what's creating a lot of emotional instability for them. Um, this person does carry a lot of love for you and they know this. That, that's, that could be the truth um, for a lot of them that, that this is referring to here. But again, there's just so much overthinking and overanalyzing that it's just making a mess in their heads. Let's see the Four of Pentacles. We have the Sun and we have the Five of Pentacles showing up again. It's almost like this person is resisting their own happiness. They're resisting their own happiness because of a fear of loss, which I feel that it's also related to the Eight of Swords because we had it here as well um, with the Five of Pentacles. I mean, we just keep getting the same cards. Look at this, we have the, for them at least, we have the Eight of Swords twice and we have the Five of Pentacles twice. Um, so yeah, they're resisting um, their own happiness because of a fear of loss, which is, not based in reality, it's the Eight of Swords. It's it's that they're overthinking this, this, this loss, whatever that is. Or, you know, the fear of abandonment. Just have the Six of Swords flip over. Yeah, so it's like trying to avoid that. Um, I do see them moving away from that conflict though, that's in their heads. So let's see this Wheel of Fortune. The Ten of Wands and the Devil. Yeah, they're moving in this direction of shifting this, shifting this fear, this devil. And for some of them, this could even be some kind of a, an attachment that they have that they've been carrying for a long time, which has been burdening them as well. And it could be that attachment that they are afraid of losing. Whatever that is, the wheel is turning. There is something different that is happening here. Yes, this person kind of just, it's like they leave it up to fate. Uh, they do put in effort, but then they're ultimately like kind of waiting for the universe to like step in and, and do something for them. But I do see that they're shifting regardless. Um, I just feel like it's, you know, it's taking its time because of the fact that they're kind of just waiting for things to magically happen. But the more that things just don't happen on their own, you know, the more that this person is going to have to actually exert their own energy and um, effort. All right, so let's see this Nine of Swords for the potential outcome. We have the Five of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the High Priestess. Okay, see, so there is this progression of moving away from the conflict from the conflict within their own mind is basically what this is, right? Because we're clarifying that nine of swords where, you know, there's just so much stress, there's so much anxiety, so much overthinking um, that it's creating so much conflict within their own self. They're moving away from that and moving more and more towards their deeper knowing, right? Which we saw over here, their deeper knowing and um, to follow their intuition. But before that happens, they're going to be in this nine of swords. They're going to have to face that. They're going to have to feel that. Um, but you're doing really well. So, all right, Sagittarius, if this resonated, let's see the final message for you. And please don't forget to give me a like if it did. And we have compassion. Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. Yeah, so, and I feel like you've already done that for your own self. So just take this message as it resonates. It could be that, you know, you're just coming into this place, this state where you can now actually have compassion for this other person. And because you have compassion for this other person and you understand whatever it is that they're going through, it doesn't mean you excuse it or that you accept it. But you understand it you have compassion for it um, that's actually 
why you're able to be in this place that you are. So yeah, Sagittarius, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.